Welcome to the Sustainable Thermal Systems Lab. My name is Srinivas Kermala. We established this lab in 2003 here, and the objective is to develop sustainable thermal systems with an emphasis on each of those aspects. This lab was originally established at uh, Western Michigan University in 1994, and then it moved to Iowa State, and then here. Our research always proceeds with some application in mind where we're trying to solve some critical challenge. And to be able to do that, we then step back and investigate some fundamentals of two-phase flow and other heat transfer and fluid flow phenomena that aren't well known. And so we cover the whole spectrum from overall systems that have an impact all the way down to the insights at the micro scales. So this, this has been very satisfying for our whole group. The two core disciplines that we have been focused on over the years is condensation at the micro and mini scales. We try to understand the fluid flow, the heat transfer, and the impact it has on reducing the sizes of a variety of uh, air conditioning, refrigeration, and even other applications. The sizes of those devices we can reduce significantly through the use of microscale scale heat mass transfer. Along uh, similar lines, we have been looking into sorption systems, adsorption systems, as well as adsorption systems, with the goal of using thermal energy as the driving force for achieving air conditioning, for heat pumping, and other purposes. So uh, with these kinds of insights integrated into our systems, for example, we've been able to reduce the sizes of an entire heat pump in this case to just these couple of sheets with, with uh, micro channels etched into them. And then these are scalable and they increase in size to the desired duty. So we've done both adsorption systems with uh, liquid, uh, with binary fluid mixtures, as well as adsorption systems. And then these two areas we have then expanded into areas such as carbon capture, gas separations using the sorption processes and again reduce the footprint of those systems. As far as condensation is concerned, we've reduced the size of uh, a variety of uh, air conditioning systems and refrigeration systems. Also, in recent years, we've been working on areas such as power plant cooling, where we have used some innovative enhancement techniques to reduce the uh, impact of just using air instead of very scarce cooling tower water to still maintain performance uh, without using the water. Other areas include uh, thermal storage, and uh, we are now also trying to do combined heating and cooling as well as water purification so that we get multiple outputs for the same input. We're then expanding those kinds of insights into things like building energy systems where we try to see the demand at the residential or commercial building stage and try to blend in the amount of uh, renewable energy, thermal and electrical storage and so on, so that the customer can reduce the uh, cost of energy as well as the environmental impact without affecting comfort. And in very recent uh, uh, times, We've been expanding into new techniques such as machine learning and so on. And uh, we are also focusing on thermal storage because that's a big, big, big part of the whole equation. So with this sort of overall uh, scope of activities, we have plenty of challenges to uh, address over the coming years. And uh, my students have been talking about the individual research projects. So I encourage you to watch those small videos that introduce you to all these uh, exciting projects we have on board. Thank you very much.